Virginia's in Russia, in Russia. Dr. Stryker is Daffy. Concentrate, concentrate. <laughs> Why, you're in my concentration camp. <laughs> They don't need to justify their lives, I do. I'm a physician. I'm a surgeon, god damn it. This mouth! I can give you a lot of reasons. Oh, there, what was that line? Oh, one yes. Can you give me one good reason? Uh, uh, sorry, give me the cue. Uh, 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 Jim. You shall go leave here now, and no cost, not money. Oh, Jesus Christ. In which he states that the airlines that join South America and the United States will be of immeasurable economic value and intrinsic value, or whatever the hell the other word is. <laughs> there are thousands just like Phillips. Honest, decent, self-respecting men who have lost their jobs through no fault of that. Oh, God damn it, let me start right away again. Gee, yeah, I'm lucky. Lucky? Say, you want to be secondary to Yeah, yeah, Chicago. Only the last one, God damn it. Yeah. The what? Well, you see, they're down to the last 12 bucks. And I think it'd be my to just oh, good Jesus Christ what's around with them. <laughs> the king gets shot, and it's back and forth, so on and so on and so on. She starts crying, more and more. Finally, she gets sort of crazy. They drag her out. Oh, no. Oh, come on, Peggy, be a sport. The guys in our outfit are dependent on this boy and his guitar tonight. God damn it. If you were to marry... Coming. Listen, I have half a mind to hit. Again. You have half a mind, all right. And I get, oh, I get yeah. goose there. <laughs> Baby, tell me you're safe and that I ain't dreaming. What's the matter? Have you gone cuckoo? On my way over here, all I could think of was about the time I put gumdrops in your hiking goop <laughs> I mean, 20 years ago, instead of to suddenly discovering that the the Gilbert, they always found that. Get someone up here right away. Doctor. Yes? Hello. And just to keep the record straight, boys, you might tell your palpitating readers that the first subscription on the list, and for one mi one million buried guys. Wait a minute, maybe he's got something there. One good night's haul out of this, and we can all go home. I'll be a son. <laughs> You'll be in charge of the wagon train leaving in the morning. See that all necessary supplies are put up to task. Yeah. 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 Send Lemberg. Once more, come on. All right, go ahead. Yeah? Send Lamebrain in here. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Look, you can stay here in your clothes dry out, but you better be off or on your way or all something right, very soon because I screwed up the... <laughs> Alameda will send us wind and uh, weather position changes and ships and so on the thing. Uh, now, let's... So to help you get yourself back in the marine mood, I'm restricting you to quarters for, for ten days. Son of a bitch. Right now, I'll bet he's the he-man boss of that herd that I work with. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Sorry. Hey, uh... You see, we, the Rangers, have been trying to get something on Judge Blake for months. God damn it, Denny <laughs> That's my partner, Judge Carter. <laughs> Colonel, you're mistaken. I'm Lieutenant Colton, a Union officer, temporarily assigned to Secret Service, in hopes that we would, might be able to get rid of this thing that we got here. <laughs> well, yeah, smoke, old boy, looks like our luck still holds. I can't raise my ass off the ground. <laughs> Imitation birds and beasts of the forest. Two firemen. 
A goat. That's all I know. Oh, let's go ahead. Just do some more paper figuring. You're one of these destructive critics. You say everything a guy does, I'll... Chuck was on the point of exposing Marcia unless she cleared out. So? So. Cut. With my heart's best affections and all my worldly goods, I the endow. Join your right hands again. <laughs> So why should this... Oh, God! Damn, let's pick it up. I thought you promised not to lecture. But... I'm stuck. <laughs> Was there enough light in the alley for you to see the defendant very clearly? I could see pretty clearly, yes. Enough to swear Slim Jacobs... God, it won't come. <laughs> Take a tip from the family physician. Now, Dan, I can't remember that damn Take it right up from here. What's to be done? I don't know what's to be done. I don't know. Radio. Well, produce the gosh damnedest blowouts for 1938. <laughs> hey, what about that coat? Yeah, it's a bad fit. Bad fit. Bad yeah. fit. Yeah, too tight under the arms. Not under my arms. That's my coat. Your and coat. My hat. What's it doing on me? What are they doing on me? Give me that. Give me that. Take it away. You're going to be a hell of a struggle getting this color off. All right. Cut it. You must be the first one to taste it. Oh, thank you. My dear, you're about to have an aesthetic experience. <laughs> it's got it. Oh, God, it's up. <laughs> you know, they're not warm. I'm going to prepare for you my most famous dish. Chicken a la Rene. You must be famous. It isn't everybody who can have a chip. Keep the... Go on up. <laughs> you know perfectly well I don't care anything about your talent. <laughs> Good people, on the inside of this tent, you will see it all inspiring an inspiration of those damn words. <laughs> Is it this one? No. This one? No. Is it no. this one? No. Is it that 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 one? No. Right, which is it? I poured it down the base. Oh, I meant it for Dr. Harrigan. I wouldn't have stopped. Oh, God damn. That's an idea. But it's true, monsieur. The whole, all this literature. Let me try it again, for goodness sake. Go. Oh, but I've got a job, haven't I? Oh, yes, you have a job. Yeah, you're entitled to 10%. <laughs> <laughs> but I've got a job, haven't I? Yes, I think you have. Yeah, you're entitled to 10%. Sales do. Oh, damn it! <laughs> Bloody you bugger and blood! Do you suppose he rides in the park every day with Sally? That line was oh, screwy. It. And I just heard from a friend in Washington that, uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, for years I've dreamed of this moment. This shall be the creation of everything I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, damn it. Oh, will you see, dear, when will you grow up? Well, I must go. People will be arriving in a minute. The main thing is, I got to. Oh, damn! Mrs. Hardaway, I'm our last sunny point of leaving. So soon? Well, that's a shame. My husband would be so sorry to miss you. Ah! <laughs> really, Mrs. Wayne? The very man. You see, Mrs. Creevy, you'll get behind him, and I'll get behind you, and Mrs. Mason will get behind him, and me, or something. Oh, oh honey. Well, my life hasn't been so pleasant lately. Well, even so. I married you for better or worse. If this is the worst I want, I won't have anything to know. Oh, God damn it. Oh. 
Right in here, Miss Winston. You'll find a typewriter there and everything you need. Uh, oh, no. All right. May I submit respectfully that your honor, it is your... Oh, nuts. My back's pretty. That Rogers must be all right. Another bitch won't come on. He's not going. Now then, Friar, let's waste no more time. We'll take the shortcut across the stream. Come. I won't. God damn it, not well, won't. Let's pick it up, boy. Action! Give me back my mutton chop. Oh, nuts. <laughs> you out of it, too. You bought your rotten little prince, Gregorovich. And when he ceased to be a reigning prince, you had to buy faith. <laughs> Realizing a sinister influence was tying the hands of the police, I began a personal in... Oh, nuts. A personal what? Where is Andy? He's over the 7-Eleven Club, working on a story that's going to rock this town. Tell him to stick to rocking babies. That's what he... What he... Oh, blah, 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 blah. Well, that goddamn thing locked again. Hey, listen, Chief. If you think you can spare me, I guess me and the boys will be getting back to the parade. We'll probably have to run a foot race now and get... <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> the clothes Miss Blaine brought aboard, ship are still in her room. The steward and stewardess reported to me and I've had the ship searched. We found a rope attached to the boat deck rail. They must have lowered themselves to the dock at Cristobal. Well, I thought these things are still in her cabin. She's a shit. <laughs> I never was. I'm always bad luck to men. Kind of a bitch. I know Dolph will say cut it. It's good to see you too, Sarah. Lance, don't this is no time for fooling. We're both on a case. I'm not fooling, and besides, I don't know what the hell to say. <laughs> Come on, line up. It's the law talking. The hell it is, the law. Yes, it is the law. How are you? If we could get a line of little Macy's outfit, it might lead us to higher ups. That's what the chief wants. Yes, goddammit, I don't know what I'm supposed to say. It uh, doesn't need explaining. Okay, it doesn't need explaining. I forgot the goddamn line. Looks like Hefner might have something come back with the of the So, we return to Schofield for Kit. I'll be a uh, son of a bitch. Pick it up, right there. You're funny. Hardly. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, check the passenger list of all planes leaving the Metropolitan. Oh, God. Okay. I see. So you don't know anything at all about uh, how... <laughs> well, now wants to put you out of business, doesn't he? It's obvious. There isn't enough... Uh... God, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, I'm sure. They're out of commission. I laid off the mechanics to, uh, for some goddamn reason, I don't know why. Well, I'll show you what we're going to do about it. You're disqualified for this race, and now we're going to re recommend you... All right. Oh, but Maxie, you, you have... Don't you ever speak to me again. I'm through with you. That's just it. You see, I have some horses at home, and I don't think I can't remember any more lines. I'm very sorry. The winner and a new champion. Please. But you know as well as we do that it's impossible for you to stay here. 
We know it, monsieur, and we are going away in the hope that if you cannot forget it, forgive us. Well, yes, you monsieur. Know. And you've been given the honor to represent America. Dance exposition? Yes. Of course, you will re receive all expenses and, and immediately uh, uh, check for... Uh, <laughs> the... <laughs> Say for! 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 Say under, you son Say under! <laughs> Don't bring it back till his tongue's hanging out. Hey, have a heart. Seventy times, Things. And she's give you the air for no, ain't she? Yeah. Well, then he's got to win. Not a... uh -huh. No, it's a town about 30 miles from here. Over in them North Ozark, where the hillbillies come from. Well, who's he making? A blacksmith. We get half the take, and I fixed it free with old man... God damn it. Now, we might work up a match with one of your own boys, create local interest. All we need is a fellow with weight enough can uh, learn a couple of uh, lines and... Uh... Oh, but Ed, you can talk him into it. Well, now, listen, baby. I know everything there is to know about wrestling. I can promote a match from Podunk to the Garden. I can't remember the line. God damn it. Why, bust my bustle. That's the right smart idea. I'm not waiting for money. I'll tell you... <laughs> Next time, ask somebody in the newspaper business. Yes, I will. Mm -hmm. Well, so what about it? Oh, God. You haven't seen any record? I'm sorry. Now, you might as well admit it's a bargain, Judy, and we'll just steal it with a kiss. Get out! What's the matter, Kane? You in a hurry? Oh, Jesus! Have misunderstood you, sir. <laughs> My turn. My future's with you, if you don't mind. That's right, dear. That's right. <laughs> you know everything, don't you? Well, that's what you pay me for. I'll have you know that never in any hour of distress will I call to Lans Lansford and subject myself to the cons. <laughs> oh, keep it silly, Bill, on the telephone. <laughs> That red-blooded, red-faced, red-headed, he-man of the West, the mightiest horse tamer in captivity. Well, Smoke, old boy, looks like our luck still holds. I still can't graze my ass off the ground. Ladies and gentlemen, we are happy at this time to present a Warner Brothers first... Oh, what the hell? Ladies and gentlemen, we're happy at this time to present a Warner Brothers... Oh, nuts. Oh, 
You make me so mad. What have I done? Well, with the whole underworld having just as much reason for wanting to pin the murder... Oh, not wanting to kill. Let's... How did you and know he wanted, we wanted him to take us with we and... You want it? Nuts. You knew I'd do that. Oh, how long did you... Uh, how much... Oh, nuts. How can I help? By telling me what you know about this Gilbert case, Sergeant. Oh, nuts. Oh, Steve, you're wonderful. Oh, oh, oh nuts. <laughs> oh, Torchy, will you cut it out? Dibble will kill the guy, and that's that. If Ward had been killed with a tire wrench, there might be some reason to suspect a garage helper. But what in the name of... Nuts. Start the line again. Ready? Go. If Ward had been killed with a tire wrench, there might have been some reason to suspect a garage helper. But what in the name of Pete would this kid be doing with a hypodermic needle loaded with... Press the gas. Five to one, I owe that thing five thousand basket. I don't know, but it wasn't making any difference. He can... Oh, Jesus. Son of a... You bastard, why don't you say it? <laughs> it's like a fairy tale, isn't it? Here stood the very holes of Montezuma. Of course, I can't move my head because if I do, my entire goddamn wig will come off. <laughs> Folks, I'm, I'm much obliged to you for bringing me here tonight. I felt a little scared and, and blue when I first came here, but I don't feel that way now because of everything. But, but please don't ask me to sing again. <laughs> Oh, geez, I must have a line someplace. Oh, I, uh, I don't bother with love. I haven't the time. Oh, you great men are all so hard. Oh, I have to be hard. Yes, I suppose you do. There are so many girls who'd be after you because you earn so much money and are so famous. Why, that's just what Miss Day said. She would. Uh, she's just the type you have to watch out for. You don't mean Miss Day. Oh, my dear. Didn't you see how furious she was when I stepped in tonight and spoiled her plan? Girl, God, I haven't got a line there, have I? You know, I've always had sort of a little dream electrical shop. Just like a dream girl. <laughs> well, anyway, lots of people have dream girls. But dream electrician shops, God damn. <clears throat> dream of... Joe, you're for your nuts. Shut up, bitch. Bitch. <laughs> oh, Betty Mom. Oh, why didn't you tell me about it? Can I go with you, Commissioner? I risk the. Can I go with you? Can... Take you after you get in, Don. Can I go with you? <laughs> Together they entered the trash comb shortly after Strickland paid over the money. And while Strickland stood guard with a gun in his hand, the accomplice opened the safe, extracted the $20,000. But before they could escape, however, my coat isn't open. God damn it. Well, I'm sorry, gentlemen, but I'm afraid I'll have to report this to... <laughs> <laughs> well, gentlemen, I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I'll have to report this to... Quiet, please. Action. I'm sorry, gentlemen, but duty calls. I'm afraid I'll have to report this to the commandant. Mr. Ran. Papa won't like it. Hey, what do you think about this? It would have been a much better if we'd have had a better director. Can yeah, we I do mean you? <laughs> <laughs> My book is completely rational and of definite scientific value. You're positive about of that? Of course I am. Do anything to me, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's the Chinese chalk. A map of the heavens, which predicts events just like the horoscope that... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> when I give orders around here, they take them from me and nobody else. Incidentally, here's your record of the girl that worried... <laughs> <laughs> Hello. It's a lovely day, isn't it? Uh, yep. I, I think I need a little help there. Yes. It looks like you've been on a shopping spree. Yeah, I have. Got the message in there? There you are. There's your money. Whoop. Ah, uh, 
Did you ever hear of night school? Did you ever hear of boys working to help their mothers? A mother like yours, one of the finest women that ever bore a thoroughbred, and free no good sons of bitches. I tell you, men, sometimes it's enough to put me up in my lines for Jesus. Son of a Cut it out, kiddo. You'll really get hurt. It's a fine thing you're hitting little boy half your size. I'll warm your on the ears for you. Okay, okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <I'm... laughs> but anything that you say henceforth may be used against you at your own trial. But you can't arrest him. He he, he had nothing to do with it, God damn it. Take it out. Now listen, Jimmy, you can't do that to me. You're crucifying me. You can't get away with it. Let's do it again. God damn it, it moves. Seven new number or something. Let's reload or some kind. You can't do that to me, Jimmy. You're crucifying me. You can't get away with it. It's conspiracy. That's what it is. I'll report you to responses. I know them personally. I'll report you to the communications of the goddamn thing. I'll break the watch anyway. Uh, now, look, Mrs. Kobrick, if there's anything I can do, you... Oh, well, that's, that's terribly nice of you, but I'm up in my line, and the base I don't want to say. Bones, I... My dear, that stinks. How he is everywhere to poison me. Every instant I am in danger until I get to Maxwell. Oh. Oh. Help me. Help me, dear God, help me. I'm caught on his <laughs> Okay, bring us two blankets, two pairs of cigarettes. Oh, nuts. Nuts. Excuse me. <laughs> Elizabeth, please listen to me. Alan's life. It's it's Alan's. It's Alan's. It's. You don't want to see that judge again. You know he might be real angry if he found out why you took me, and then we would be able to spend the oh, <laughs> oh, wait till he sees me fly. He won't worry then. It's well, just a question of flying. Oh, I bet you're a damn good flyer. <laughs> <laughs> You were trying to be funny. Oh, no, Cap, I ain't trying to be funny. I'm just trying to tell you there's 4,000 Chinamen in this country that might have knocked McHugh off. Son of a bitch, McHugh. Go <laughs> on, happy. I can't be happy. I'm happy. Oh, happy. What the hell's been happy about getting a wife back for Christ? Yeah. Cut! <laughs> can't take any chances now. Chances? What's all the emergency about? Just had a baby in the ladies' room. <laughs> Your food is always perfect, Mrs. Nibel. Always perfect. You gentlemen are so gallant. Can't speak for the others. As for myself, I'm a southerner. By accident. <laughs> you told me to stick it in my collar. Well, we can still save it. Right, Breezy. You take it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I mean, we've got a story and we've got no space for it. Yes, but this one is... Will you go home, please? God damn it. We'll start in one spot. Go on, put it back. Put the water coming out of the lake and look at the water coming from the bottom of the... Whoa, I stink a mile a minute. Cut quick. Why don't you send her away for a while on sort of a vacation to Algiers or somewhere? Now, you listen to this, both of you, and get this thing straight. Just because my mother takes it... God damn it. Sorry. What was the denomination of that? Go back to your way. Bring a shipping bag. Bring a shipping bag. Go. I happen to. Oh. What's the hell's the matter? Uh, say, what's ailing you? Well, it's. No. Did you miss the line there? I'll bet you twenty bucks that I catch Bailey before Gilbert does. Yes, twenty bucks. Plus I screwed yeah. it up. Can you beat that lug? You just learned a week ago how to use a knife and fork. There goes the honeymoon. Now listen, Torchy, even if I agree with what you want, admitting you're a pretty good detective and all that, what could you do that the, that the Secret Service men can? Yes, sir. Yeah. Listen, you do that again and you will take the cans, God damn it. All right, pick it up for me. 
We're picking it up again when the cute little American judge hands me my veto. What kind of a phony is this? Well, he says our divorce isn't... Oh, Cut. God! Yeah. I'll save you the trouble. See your cashier and get the salary. Go see the cashier and get your salary. I don't want anything, but these gentlemen do. They want you on a little charge of kidnapping. And our friend Bill Clifton would like to discuss a long line of... Oh! That's the right answer, Johnny. You know, it's always smart to have the right answers, like that. Now, you take it easy. I got this thing all figured out. God damn it. Can you pick it up? Son of a... Mr. Brennan? Yes. I'm... Ca uh, ca what the hell am I? <laughs> Good morning, Miss Ann. I was wondering if I might speak to Mr. H Mr. Hearn. No, of I... No, I said Mr. 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 Hearn. Hello? Oh, Judith. <laughs> you look out, you break. <laughs> okay. I don't believe you even consulted them. They wouldn't quibble about evidence in a murder case. If they didn't think they had enough evidence, they'd go to a... God damn it. Let's pick it up. No, but there's something about the way you ride that puts my heart in my mouth. Woo! I'm very sorry I burned myself. You're right on from there, can you? No. No. I burned myself. How can we find out? What can we do? Hmm. Better leave that to me, huh? But you won't do anything foolish. Oh, I'm sorry. God damn it. Pick it up. Now, easy it is. Yeah. But what do I do to see Captain McTavish? Uh, McTavish says... Oh. He says... Uh, uh, Take it from one. where Tom says, so. yes, but what do I do about seeing Captain McTavish? Ready? Go. So. Yeah, but what do I do uh, when I want to see Captain McTavish? Yeah, but what do I do? But what do I... What, 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 what the hell is it? Set him off. I can't stand it, I tell you. I feel like... Taking his place and waiting for a stream of hot juice to shock, shock you into kingdom. God damn it! Again, start again right now. Go ahead. Here we go. Action! Captain! Judith. Oh. Okay. Still ready. Is camera that's one of I thought camera if he was there starting. I'm sorry. Oh. Sorry, darling. Here we go. He's back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Son of a bitch. 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 A gun. Why, even the woman you went to, after you committed the murder, she'll go against you. She'll save, uh, sacrifice herself to save, uh, sa sacrifice uh, somebody to. All right. I say that if Felix Deese demanded a hundred a month to live here, you girls would screw. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch, uh, son of a bitch, uh, son of a bitch, uh, 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 gun. <laughs> you thought I was going to say a uh, uh, son of a bitch, didn't you? <laughs> no, I got beat us. I got you, got it. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Remember what Confucius say. Time for jerk. Okay. For jerk. Jerky. <laughs> you think that, but you don't know. <laughs> Come on, Daisy, make a statement. You haven't got a chance. Why, you dirty. <laughs> Say, just a minute. This is supposed to be my dance. What are you doing here? Thank you very much.
Governor, uh, oh boy, did I blow hey, that. Go, go back. Thank right. you very much. Thank you very much, uh, quiet, Governor. Quiet. Uh, Luke, uh, we have filmed it in natural color, and it will do a great, oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, but, um, uh... Start again, start again, start again, start again, start again. Look, you got me wrong, mister. I can handle these sun-kissed Romeos. All I want to do is earn a few bucks and I'll be on my way. You're on your way right now. But I told you I'm broke. I counted on a few weeks' salary here. Well, you can stop counting now. There's a boat leaving for the States tomorrow night. Son of a bitch. Uh, with this cigar, I've swallowed 18 mouthfuls. That's right, man. That's right. A valiant dozen taste of death but once for some goddamn thing like that. <laughs> What's going on here? It's a swindle. The whole thing's a swindle. You just tried to get rid of me, didn't you? Pardon. Uh, <laughs> went to your house, didn't he? That's right. Yes. All three of the men did. And one of them deliberately took an awful sock at uh, old man... Uh, got it. <laughs> Got a bright red lipstick. Mine's grown anemic. Here, make yourself beautiful for Eddie. Oh, I didn't think of that. And I can't think of anything else either. <laughs> Who was that? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Well, I've seen him around. I've seen him around where? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Lunch, one hour. Just what you asked for. Alma. Qu'est-ce que vous avez maintenant pour moi? Alma. Ah, vous avez... Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Shall I introduce you to my friends? Shall I wait for that goddamn truck to go by? No, don't put them in there. Put them with a 70... Son of a bitch. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no, no, no. That's terrible, terrible, terrible. It was great fun making the picture, but it'll be still greater fun. Fun. I'm all right. Keep going. Go back, please. Go back. Sorry. A girl in here on our shoplifting beef is going to escape with me. Why don't you make it a general poo? <laughs> Why don't you make it a general jail delivery? Then you'll really have something. Oh. Why in the hell can I think of a goddamn line? Boy, this is going to be a tough one. But we'll meet again. And I'll write to you from wherever I find you. God. Oh, just start again. Bitch. <laughs> that sucker jumped three feet in the air and come down stiff as a board. Me? I'll still be in the goddamn thing jammed. Good night, love. With this moon, is there no romance in your heart? So goddamned, I can never think of a goddamn <laughs> line. <laughs> What's the idea of saying that I don't remember my lines now? Uh, the point is, Doctor, which do you favor? Uh, spending the cash for a new vestry at the cathedral or a new wing at the hospital? Uh, neither. I'd spend it for... I'd spend it for buying a new studio for Warner Brothers. <laughs> fine, fine, very fine, that's fine. If I only knew the line now, how beautifully we could play this scene. <laughs> Wait a minute. Perhaps you can give me some advice. I'm supposed supposed to go on. Bring it up. Bring it up. Bring it up. Oh, if, oh yeah. If, if you will. If, uh, but do you think you can? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> did you or did you not write me a ballet, which I pay you for three times in Paris? Too much. That's lousy. Yeah. An order of transfer from the senior officer, president afloat. I'm goddamn if I know why, but that's the. That'll hold up for a while. I'd start to death or we a couple of days. <laughs> How will you do this? You're, you're too conventional. <laughs> I'm, I'm all through. <laughs> the world premiere of Dodge City 
will be definitely held in your town. Oh, gee, I wrong again. I can't pick it up. Now, more than 20 years later, with every power arming to the teeth, for preparing for, God damn it. All right, pick it up, Joe. It's do or die for good old Metropolis High. You, you tell them, but you tell them, uh, Coach. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks very much, miss. And don't try to use that phone again, are you? <laughs> no, I didn't bring any costumes with me, but I'll be goddamned if I knew what the line was. <laughs> Boys, this is going to be a tough one. Draw the pr Don't try and fool me. I'm a... I'm a son of a bitch. But then I didn't know. I didn't know that heaven was a little spot in Honolulu. Oh, good God. Go on, go on, go on. It stinks. Continue. Welcome home, Mr. Bear. Hello, Woodson. Yes, sir. They show good news in that telegram you sent, sir. And they said that's what they show worried about. <laughs> Welcome home, Mr. Bay. Hello, Watson. Yes, sir, they show up. <coughs> oh, God. Welcome home, Mr. Bay. Hello, Watson. Yes, they show good news in that telegram, sir. And, uh, <laughs> I don't know what to... Because you wanted to get those checks. You thought if I would pay $1,000 cash now for them, that you could get a whole lot out of me. Uh, I uh, print that. <laughs> That wasn't the reason. It was just a climax of one Martin Baker. God damn it. You are very clever, madame. You are very clever, madame. <laughs> <laughs> Very happy that the greatest commonwealth that oh I blew it good. <laughs> the greatest. Martin, we'll pick it up from there. Son of a bitch. Hold it. All right. Who the hell? Up <laughs> <laughs> this one, okay? Oh, 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 right over here. Put this leg right over there, lady. There you are, man. Right over there. I can snap it. 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 I don't know whether you care or not, but my granddaughter's in jail for a crime she didn't commit. Now you tried to sell those checks. Ah! Now come on, come on. Simulate firing as soon as you hit the line. Hold it. Okay. What a fine son of a bitch. You tried the cookie, Slim? That's well. What'd I tell you? She's a hell of a wife, that one. <laughs> I don't believe you yet, you old bastard. You really are. <laughs> just what I've been looking for. Mrs. Swinnerton. Mrs. Swinnerton. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Oh, Harold, you are so sombre in your black coat. Why do you not wear your gay white coat? Colin, Colin! I beg your pardon. We've lost it. <laughs> oh, I beg your pardon. Oh, come on. Uh, and here he is, folks. That red-blooded, red-faced, red-headed He-Man of the West. The mightiest horse tamer in captivity. Well, smoke, old boy, looks like our luck still holds. I still can't graze my ass off the ground. you have, my dear. <laughs> what have we got to lose? You don't have to go back to the States. There's an iron gate behind. <clears throat> God damn it. Mean the discussion? Why don't you talk in English or American or some goddamn thing to your father? You can't speak any of that. I'm not a fat old... Uh, why you... Uh, why God... 
Well, damn it. I'll be gone. Well, you dirty son. Hold it. Well, well, fancy meeting you again. <laughs> oh, what a becoming negligee. What are you waiting on? <laughs> oh, my friend. You do all this for me. Oh, you are my brother, my sister, my mother, my grandmother, my grandfather. Oh, I oh. beg your pardon. Now, oh, why do I have that hand in my pocket all the time? <laughs> Hold them tight. Grab a hold of them there. Oh, Give it to them. Hold them. Oh, is that all you want to go on a honeymoon for and get married for? Just so you can hang around an old plane? Well, there isn't going to be any wedding or any New York or any honeymoon or anything else. You just made up aluminum and scored cylinders and old worn-out spark plugs. You haven't got any more romance about you than that old pair of pliers. Ha, 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 ha. It'd be too bad if those eggs were fertile. This guy's liable to wake up Easter morning and discover he's a mother. Open your mouth. Oh, no, come on, no. no. Come on. Ah, ah. Yes. Right after this scene was shot, 458 Hollywood chicks organized the Screen Layers Guild. Colonel Forbes, William Lovelace Jackson. Get away, get away. <laughs> Pull your hair back. But get her across the stage in a blithesome, confident manner. Uh, write anything, but... Oh, Christ. Late. What do I have to do? Tell you things in six different languages? I'm sorry. You're sorry? Look at my hat. I don't know what the hell to say. Pick it up. Get it with it. All right. Uh, you turn left. You turn left. That, uh, that... Oh, damn it. Oh, damn it. Man overboard. Now, if this was a fire, I'd know just what to do. Well, I've been at sea for 30 years, and I can't swim a stroke. Hmm. <laughs> Beautiful, Eddie. What's the matter with her? That bullet got her. Bad? Well, I know, but you can't leave her here like this. You've got to stay here like I'm over to the jail. Is that you, mention still good? Don't stop getting sentimental, Nick. All you've got to do is wait here until I can think of the lines, and maybe I'll say the guy. <laughs> that bullet got her. Mm -hmm. Bad? Well, I don't know. We can't leave her here like this. You can leave me here like this, because I don't know the goddamn <laughs> one. What are you pulling now? You know that sailor Daniels? The one that she tripped when she tried to jump the boat? Well, he's got a four-inch... I can't say it. <laughs> well, you know Daniels, that fellow that she tripped when she tried to jump the boat? Well, he's got a four-inch something in his head. I tried to say it before, <laughs> and I guess... <laughs> Howdy, Pastor. Hi, Alvin. <laughs> I've been kind of... Expecting to see you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm right, Tori. Sweet. <clears throat> sure some accent I got. Three women in one, she is, Alvin. A whole pass full of women. <laughs> ah, I'll tell her marry her be a bigamous. She? Big must? <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, bigamous. <laughs> Just because... I mean, God damn if I'm blood. Whoa! I had a pair of crutches made for cookie. The last thing you did was hit me on the head with them. No, it's going on. God, God, all God right. damn. That's the thing. You're promoted. You're now a... That's the I bet you'd think nothing now turning that knife on me if you would... I... God damn it. From the first moment that my brother's boat sighted us, we've made a... Overlap? No, I can do it. Oh. He didn't tell you any of that, did he? No. What do you mean to him? What do his, your lives mean to him? He doesn't care about your lives. You're not men in his... No. Now, of course, I know your capacity for that. She's devastated. Not so devastated. She lost a sense of direction. She made straight for the library. That's all right. It's her library. She can make for it if she likes. 
I hear you're collaborating. Well, I can't work around here. Oh, you're following me. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh. Now, you go and tell Dr. Stoll. Keep the crowd happy. Like, goddamn son of a bitch. She's been home for two weeks. Is it fine? How do you do to get smacked in the kisser with the minute I turn my... God damn it, the minute I turn my back. Now, hold it right there. We'll... <laughs> Ketchup. <laughs> Mustard. Jesus Christ, I'm sorry. But Sandra just told me that I was only nuts to that goddamn line. I cannot remember it. But I didn't die, and I haven't stayed away, and I want that child. We're well, not going to have it. Is that so? There's millions of people... All of you here, for instance, who've done lots more than I have, just doing their daily jobs. God damn it, I'm hiring a kite. <laughs> so a man saw a part, saw the one around the snow lake, took him in, and then the, that man then up and died with the pneumonia. So part here, where was the last time I was <laughs> Last one, a snow slide come down, boom, on that man's house, and killed him dead, but didn't kill part of him. So, well, right. <laughs> so, Dad, where's that last night? <laughs> so, I don't know. I'm just telling you. Yeah. Oh, say, Cliff, I just happen to think, if you're planning on getting married or anything, all those raw eggs will come in handy. You're doing all right, just sound <laughs> like <laughs> And here he is, folks, that red-blooded, red-faced, red-headed, key man of the West, the mightiest horse tamer in captivity. Well, smoke, old boy, looks like our luck still holds. I still can't graze my ass off the ground. just a rough idea of a director instructing his cast how to play a scene. Mr. Charles Boyer at the piano and Mr. Goulding, the director, taking the place of Joan Fontaine, who was watching Mr. Goulding off scene. Mr. Goulding evidently was not at all satisfied with his rehearsal, so he will endeavor to get into character by wearing Miss Fontaine's hat and play up to Mr. Boyer. All right, Eddie, give out it. So I'll start uh, at count uh, four first. One, two, three, four. public demands a real 55 cent love scene I say that was a scorcher you always act so funny Leslie oh, you're gorgeous Charlotte give us another I say that was a scorcher well, you always act so funny, Leslie. You're gorgeous, Charlotte. Give me another. I say that was a scorcher. Well, you always act so funny, Leslie. <laughs> You're gorgeous, Charlotte. Give us another. Say that was a scorcher. Well, you're always so funny, Leslie. Oh, you're gorgeous, Charlotte. Give us another. <laughs> I say that was a scorcher. You always act so funny, Leslie. You're gorgeous, Charlotte. Come on, give us another. She 
asked to do this. You see, she took some medicine and forgot to shake the bottle. Ho, ho, ho. And if the case isn't settled by then, I'm going to give the estate away to the Salvation Army, and I knew God damn well I was going to say it. I'm through. Cut! <laughs> Me. What is it? <laughs> Here he is, copper. Dennis Daniel O'Hara, alias Red. He's guilty of crap and he... Crap and he... <laughs> oh, yes, my darling. A thousand times, yes. And if he doesn't cut, I don't know what in the hell I'm gonna do. <laughs> oh, that must be Bert now. I told him to meet me here. Goddamn match won't strike. <laughs> Stinks. <laughs> <laughs> Just pinning a medal on you for getting me fired. If you'd kept your bustle inside this juke, I might have a chance to bring to see... Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, now, what's your news? Oh, I got a letter from Drake. Par Goddamn Drake. <laughs> Dear Drake, glad to hear that you're feeling good and everything's going so well. Well, we skipped that. Of course, I'm... Paris. Oh, Paris, Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. I suppose it's a pretty big field, sir. Maybe too big. Maybe a hundred years off. Of course, you can never tell. Hey, I'm not talking the dialogue for... Cassie was poisoned. Then quite a bit later, Dr. Tower shot himself. He hadn't been dead very long when the cook came in and found him. And I forgot the rest of the line from there, but it'd be great if I could remember it. Pretty lucky. But I didn't have anything to do with the murder, or whatever you call it. God damn it. I just happen to remember Bentley. He flew one over there. And never came up, never came back, never showed up. The son of a bitch drowned. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. What's caught your eye, Humphrey? Oh, I can see why you're having trouble keeping your eyes focused. Too much for you, huh? Poor fella. You just rest quietly. Uh, well, the return of the man who came to dinner. For God's sake. <laughs> and the laws of the state of California. Let there, therefore, who God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. And make a goddamn good one for somebody where they're having this. <laughs> <laughs> Close to it? Mm -hmm. Fine. And now he wants $190. Why that amount? Because he knows that's what we've got saved up. Mr. Johnson and I have been saving for a long time. No. Again? And now he wants $190. Why that amount? Because he knows that's what we've got saved up. Mr. Johnson and I have been saving for a long time to buy a boat with two... How is that one you've got there? All right, march to ground quarters. Ground quarters, what the hell is ground quarters? Get out of there, over there. I don't like that, I nearly cut my throat. Hey, what's that? Right there. Take a ride with it. <laughs> <laughs> Making a future for their kids. That's something you can't buy, Mr. Oh, Christ. God damn. All right, 25 years pass. He keeps for, uh, frozen. That's all. <laughs> Do you hear me? Come with me as the seller. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Yes, 13. God damn it. I... <laughs> Jeez, picking out a new thing. New setup. For you and me. 
Yes. Since when do we get to be such a <laughs> Oh, boy, I, I'm sorry about that out there, but Cully, he's, he's getting too big for his britches. That's the trouble with Cully, he's getting too big for his britches. <laughs> he's getting too big for his britches. I look on the wrong side of the camera. <laughs> Know her name. Doctor, I can't help it. It's orders. All right, I'll tell you her name. Uh, her name? What the hell is her name? <laughs> Always subject to your approval, Doctor. Dog doesn't eat dog, eh? Oh, I'm not a practicing physician. Um, now, what the hell do I say? What? If ever there was a stupid 14 carat dumb cluck who ought to have his own head examined, that's me. Do you believe me now? I'll be goddamned if I know what the hell to say. She give me oxygen. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm having a hell of a time. There we are, boys, ass and all. <laughs> Come on, lift it. All right, you dive keeper. Why do you think for a second that we're going to come in this crummy goddamn place against <laughs> your crazy? Which way? Okay. What's that? Has this all driven now? <laughs> What'd you feel about her? You thought it was all over, but it wasn't. It's still there. I could... God damn, it's still oh, yeah. in you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> A father, 40, what? Oh, remember, Mr. Stanley, I too am giving up something. It would make a whale of a broadcast. Well? Say something, Mr. <laughs> Keeley. Say something. Cut it. Maggie, you know that one of my cardinal principles is never to interfere in anybody else's wife. <laughs> wife. <laughs> Don't look at me and say that. <laughs> yes, I arrived in white tie and tails to be met by two bewigged butlers who very quietly proceeded to take my trousers off. <laughs> oh, I was then ushered in my lemon yellow shorts, God damn it! Uh, Have we ever met our friend? Uh, <laughs> Sherry, my own. If you really must know the truth, then I've bloody well gone again on the same God damn line. <laughs> But, Sherry, darling, I've been so worried now seeing you in this chair. This chair fits my fanny as nothing else ever has. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought an hour ago I'd be on my way to South Carolina? Life is just full of surprises, isn't it? Will you both stop this violent headache? <laughs> <laughs> Shall I tell you how I glittered through the South Seas like a silver scimitar? Or would you rather hear how I finished a three-act play with one hand whilst making love to a Maharaja with... Oh, I had your hat. That's all right, I had yours. Well, then I must have yours. Then you've got mine. Say, we girls certainly have trouble with our hats. You give me mine or I'll hit you with my beaded bag. Mr. Flynn was always one for exercise. He got those big shoulders playing tennis, his big arms from golf, his big chest from swimming, and you ought to see his great big but can you blame a fella if he likes to ride horseback? Well, Mr. Flynn seems to be making eyes at someone. When Errol gets this look in his eye, look out, girls. It only means one thing. <coughs> and
And oh boy, look at the little number he's promised to screen test this time. Careful, my little pigeon. There's a Seahawk after you. Mr. Flynn's in a bad way, but he claims these eyes are helpful when he eats in a restaurant. With one eye, he can watch his dinner, while the other watches his hat and coat. The glamour boy in action. Oh, Errol, you kiss so divinely. Uh, yeah, I used to be a Boy Scout bugler. I still can't graze my ass off the ground. Now, take a deep breath and hold it. I'll try not to hurt. I'll try to get the goddamn dress on. <laughs> I want to see her supper. Please. I want to see her life torn apart. Please, Mrs. Kenner, don't get yourself excited. I know you have a great emotional distress, but let's try to be reasonable. By going to the police, what will you gain? Not for one man more than the African gangsters. I thought perhaps you were. Did you find out that you were free tonight? That's the wrong goddamn line, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> I said my name was Rex Durant. Well, <laughs> we're up high in a <laughs> uh, My dear, you know I never drink on an empty stomach. Get me something to eat, my child. Okay. No, 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 not that ridiculous thing. Now, if there's some caviar. Yes, in here. Uh, is it uh, decently chilled? No, hot as hell. <laughs> They left, left us. What? Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> My goodness, just imagine. Ten million people listening at one time. What a colossal invention in miniature. Oh, poor. Oh, uh, a letter came this morning. If I can find the goddamn thing. Where it is. All right, now take a deep breath and hold it. I'll try not to hurt. I'll try to get the goddamn dress off. <laughs> no, no, make it eight, will you? Eight at my hotel. Lovely to talk to you. <laughs> uh, goodbye now. There. There is an object lesson in how not to act with a man. Jesus Christ. Well, well, go back, baby. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Okay. Yeah. You seem to have spilled your drink. Lovely party, isn't it? What? Schmuck. <laughs> Take a deep breath and hold it. I'll try not to hurt too much. <gasps> Can we do it over? Yes, we put the gas. <laughs> Chris. Well, what are you doing here? Practicing my broken field running. Oh. Drink? No, thanks, no. Oh, I'll take it. You know, I haven't been in an apartment like this for a long time. It's been two years since I was in New York. How does it look to you? About the same as any other place these days, but good. You're looking blooming. Oh, I'm fine. You been getting any lately? Overtime, you mean? <laughs> this is a deplorable situation. And something's got to be done about it. I'm not going to stand idly by it. Dad, can't you understand that I, that I don't want to go to the dance? Oh, I know you're trying to be a good sport about it, but I'm going to get to... Now take a deep breath and hold it. I'll try not to hurt too much. Bill! 
<laughs> Did you know it was Eddie Moore's blonde wife Regan was supposed to run off with? Who doesn't? Did you know that Eddie Moore's owned the gun? God damn it, come... Must be difficult for a man who has spent a lifetime stirring up a certain uh, goddamn knowledge that... Uh... Didn't Tanner come at your invitation? And didn't you try to get rid of him because you knew that your husband was coming home unexpectedly? That's not true. And didn't he refuse to leave because he knew... Uh, Kravis and the Gamus Cran. <laughs> Doc, I had another one of those goddamn fits. Could I bring a friend of mine, Steve Trilling, along? He has fits every day. Kill it. <laughs> Hi, Andy. That was quite a snootful you had last night. Why? Well, breakfast will be in ten minutes, Stevie. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> there. You're still surprised why I'm angry? God damn <laughs> All women are gamblers, Emily. Otherwise, we'd never get married. <laughs> God. All women are gambling. <laughs> Mr. President, mm -hmm. Mr. McCombs. How, How do you do, do, Mr. President? A pleasure indeed, sir. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, Annie, you handle that cigar like a monkey handles a coconut. I beg your pardon. Mr. <laughs> President. <laughs> Every time we rehearse the scene, she pulled that same trick. Now, you know an actress with any sensitivity. Oh, Sally, Sally, darling. What are you doing? Sally, this is Stanley Blake. Sally, uh, uh, Sally. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. That was what the poet called one of those lovely things that isn't meant to last. One ham on. Get me Kel going on. Sally, what's the matter? Are you unhappy about something? What is it? Is it love? I said my life. Cut it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You know, it's two years since I've been in New York. How does it look to you? Well, about the same as every place else these days. But good. You're looking blooming. Oh, I'm fine. Just fine. Well, I don't know whether you've laid any... Lay. <laughs> you know, it's none of my goddamn... Golly, Moses. Where do you want the remains sent? Is it that bad? What happened, Mike? See, these New York women are certainly nuts. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> no, it's Christ, I'm uh -huh. knocking myself out if anybody. Bill, darling. Hello. <laughs> Sally, I want you to meet Van Johnson, president <laughs> of the Actors Guild. <laughs> How do you do? Da, da, da. Say, I meant to tell you, I fixed up a little lab on the porch. I hope you don't mind. Of course not. Found a table I could use. Had to extend the gas connection a bit for the Bunsen burner. Look, I hope you don't mind regret, uh, goddamn regret having that. Yeah, why not? I hope you don't mind. Well, we're ready to listen. What's the deal? Well, just like it says there. Oh, Christ, it's not. Are you comfortable in the house? Very. Josephine's a fine cook. I'll probably end up getting fat. <sighs> I hope you don't mind. I meant to tell you. That if I got the line right, I was going to build a laboratory on <laughs> the goddamn port. Homer, you don't know where I could find an apartment, do you? Why, sure, Joe. How about the King's Arms? King's Arms? Where's the King's Arms? Around the Queen's ass. <laughs> I mean, really. <laughs> really. <laughs> I still can't raise my ass off the ground. Sir, Johnny Rocco was more than a king. He was an emperor. 
His rule extended over beer, the slot machines, the numbers racket, and a dozen other forbidden enterprises. He was a master of the fix. Jesus, I looked around at that face. Mary! Oh, no. You get out. You turn right around and leave. Oh, but Mary! You heard me. I planned for four years how you were going to see me, and it wasn't going to be like this. You get out and count to 20 and then come in again. All right, Mary. Hello, John. Hiya, Fred. God damn it. All right, okay. <laughs> Oh, shh. Oh, he doesn't make deals. I get 20 years. No, oh, Bob, I'll take my chances with this. Oh, my God. Oh, God. And they're already choosing up sides for the next war. Who? Who's... Oh, Christ. There he comes again. Mr. Wilson, we want to show you where the, how the trap door. I'll screw that up. Now, look. All who profess and call themselves Christians may be led into the way of truth and hold the faith in unity and spirit in the way of truth. Right. I hate myself. Well, you don't have to. Besides, it's not true. I'm not losing Karen. I hope you're right. Sam, patience and love are synonymous. And my patience is just as great as my love. You have to have a lot of patience to read this crappy dialogue. And they're already choosing up sides for the next war. Who? Who's... Oh, Christ, there he comes again. Veneca! Dennis! What's all this monkey business? Where's the kid? Get out of the way. Let me tell you a story. It's from Tolstoy. It seems that a rich man encountered a peasant working in the fields, and he was so contented with his humble job that it made the rich man curious. He asked him, what would you do if you knew to tomorrow I'll be a son of a bitch? Why didn't you tell your mother he... Why didn't you tell your mother he was coming home? Frankly, I wanted... God damn, I'm sorry. And they're already choosing up sides for the next war. Who? Who's... Oh, Christ, there he comes again. Why didn't you tell, you, why didn't you tell your mother he was coming home? <laughs> why didn't you tell your mother he was coming home? Answer me that. Frankly, I wanted some time alone with him. Well, that's frank enough. What for, may I ask? Because the last time you saw him, you struck him and knocked him down. That's why. The father is supposed to strike anyone he's fine. I'd kill it. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. I think I understand. That night in the church when I first met you, it was pretty obvious that... Oh, shucks. Got it? <whistles> he admits it. <laughs> what are you saying, Frank? Well, I believe some words. Words? What words? They went like this. But we of the United... God damn it. And they're already choosing up sites for the next war. Who? Who's... Oh, Christ, there he comes again. Watch it. Oh, shit.
With only 300 odd days left in 48, New York spinsters organize a leap year club and lay plans to trap that hard to get animal, the American bachelor. <laughs> Girls, you are all members of the Leap Year Club. Our slogan is, get a mate in 48. Now we are gathered together to discuss our plans. Girls, how will we get our man? Madam President and fellow members, I feel that we girls have all been chased for years by the wrong men. Now it's our chance to chase the right men. Let's pick out what we want and let's go after it. I suggest this attack. A good car, a good job, and then get him alone. Why, girls, we've got to plan this operation carefully. Men are no longer convenience. Why, they're with me. Oh, there, I lost it up. <laughs> Okay, honey child, try it again. Why, girls, we've got to plan this operation carefully. Men are no longer a convenience. Why, with me, they're just a plain necessity. Let us close our meeting with our cheer. One, two, three. Don't you think we'd be too crowded? Oh, we can all go together. Oh, here we go. You can dance well. <laughs> this is sporting. <laughs> I like this better. Do you shave? Uh, uh, oh, uh, yes, sir. Would you like a demonstration? Oh, sure. What am I saying? Have you had much experience? No, sir. You're my first one. <laughs> Sit down. Not in your way there, huh? Oh, no, sir. Wait. Too tight? I'm still breathing. Well, here we go. Pardon me, my mistake. Hey. You don't mind? What are you doing here? I want to see if my insurance is in order. Sit down, let me finish her up. I only shave once a day, if you don't mind. Well, might as well take a trim as long as you're at it. Good luck, good luck, good luck. How many rounds are we going? I want to get the hell out of here. <laughs> oh! 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 <laughs> Oh, but Maxie, you, you, you have to...